Job chapter 5. Verse 20, and it reads, In famine he shall redeem thee from death, and in war from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field. And the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, next double honors, to the head apostle slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here, forbear. Troubling times, Israel. Hurricanes, storms, floodings, wars, anarchy, chaos, mayhem, rioting, looting, etc. Evils. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai said the elect. Lord willing, we're part of that hopeful number. We'll be okay. He says they're going to eat. I'm going to have to get that, Lord willing, too. It's going down. Hurricane Debbie just sweeping across across the, um, the East Coast, just tearing shit up, flooding everything. The Lord, the Lord is controlling all these storms, too. I'm going to see if I can get that, too. That's Psalms 83 and 15, I'm thinking. Let's get let's get through this, though. The Lord said, the elect of the nation of Israel is going to laugh at destruction. They're going to laugh when the famine pop off. And like we always talk about me and the brothers, the Lord is making us numb. We're becoming numb by the day, number by the day. It's getting to the point to where we hear anything about anybody <laughs> happening, anything bad happening to anybody. We're seeing all this judgment. We are becoming numb to it. The, 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 the ordeals and the trials and the tribulations that we're going through is making us numb. The Lord taking away things from us is making us numb. Things happen, it's making us numb. Walking through the fire. The Lord's putting the spirit on us to walk through the fire. The fire of adversity. Why everybody else is crumbling to the wayside. And we're constantly praying for more of that spirit. Let's get it again. Job about to head out, get this daily bread, Lord's willing. And everything's coming to a close. Everything. The Israelites that ain't been paying attention, that's that's on you. The Israelites that ain't been getting their houses in order. The Israelites that ain't been fearing your howl. Bahashem Yahweh Shai, who they ignorantly call God and Jesus, they, they ain't repented and turned back yet. That's on you. That's on you. Job five and twenty and famine, which is the which is one of the worst ways to go out. Yeah, starving, being deleted by way of starvation. Lamentations, the fourth chapter goes into that verse nine. In famine, he shall redeem thee from death. People are going to be starving like I don't know what. But then the Lord is going to make sure you get some food. And I don't matter of fact, I, I want to get that. It says famine. Our people don't just don't know. Matter of fact, let's get that definition right quick. Let's just get the definition. Like I said, before, it's going to be something quick. Lord willing, the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Lord willing, you're edified, right? So as this pad, I got some sense. I want to get that definition. We, we, we see words, we look them up. We want to skip over words. We, we look up the meaning of these words. It speaks volume, right? Famine. Famine. 
extreme extreme scarcity of food shortage want want the food their body craves food see them hands sticking out see them hands sticking out down there and that's at, at the bottom of the screen people people are going to lose it insufficient food drought that's going to be food on the earth but but is the lord going to give you it? and i want, I want to go right to that lamentations let's go right to that lamentations right quick let's go here because it says in famine right let's I'm, I'm gonna show you according to the bible what's going to happen when that famine come the people that end up getting deleted by way of their family listen to what the scripture had to say See, it's not going to be all that joking and all that stuff. It, it, that's, that's about to go out the window. Lamentations chapter 4. I just want to click on it. Lamentations chapter 4, verse 9. The Lord said he's going to deliver the elect from this. Lamentations chapter 4, verse 9. And it reads, They that be slain, a.k.a. deleted, put to flight with the sword, with weapons, by weapons, are better than they that be slain with hunger. Are we not hearing what the scriptures are saying? The people on the earth that get deleted by way of a weapon, you know what I'm saying? Uh, probably a missile hit them or a tank launch one of them shells out of the front and it hit them. The scripture said they be better, or they get ran over by a Mack truck, an 18 wheeler truck, or get deleted in a plane crash. Uh, it looks horrifying, right? It, 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 it looks bad, bad, right? The Lord said, look, they bet off. Then they, they be slain with hunger. For these pine away, your body start rotting. The word pine means to rot. Your body start eating itself from the inside out. Just, just imagine that. For these pine away. See, see it's not going to be funny when your body's eating itself from the inside out. See, all the joking, that, that joking nonsense, that mocking and that scoffing, you know that goes out the window when your body starts eating itself from the inside out. You, 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 it's, it's like they don't, they don't even think that far ahead. They just think about the now. They, when the scriptures say that, a fool don't discern, he doesn't discern or she doesn't discern the time. They don't discern what time they living in and the times that are fastly approaching, but this is fastly approaching for a whole lot of people. For these pine away stricken through for the want of the fruits of the field, that body craves food. You hear? Feed me, see more. Feed me, see more. That body wants something to eat, man, but it ain't going to get it. That's the thing about it. It's not going to get it. So let's go back. Job chapter 5. But the elect is going to get that food. And Lord willing, we part of that whole for number. Starting off with the elder apostles slash elder bishops, the great millstone, and men on down. And the whole for elect ladies. Let's get it again. Job 5 and 20. In famine, which is one of the worst ways to get deleted, he shall, he shall redeem thee from death. And in war, because we might have to go a couple of days without food. But the Lord, you know what I'm saying? The Lord, when we part of that number, the Lord's going to make sure, you know what I'm saying? Lord's will, Abaratazan, we're going to get food, even if it's in the nick of time. And look, look, and something's better than nothing. You see, a can of beans is better than no can of beans, right? A can of tuna is better than no can of tuna, right? And an apple, an orange, anything is better. A bottle, a bottle of water is better than better than not having a bottle of water, right? In the in the and in war from the power of the sword, Lord's gonna protect you during these wars, man. The race wars, the class wars, the civil shit up, shit up, anarchy, shit up, lawlessness. People running around like chickens with their heads cut off, trying to find safety. The Lord, like nah, 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 nah. But but you over there, you hopeful elect, yeah, yeah. Run over there, go in there. Hey, everybody else, and you you can picture it. You can picture when you read these scriptures, you can you can picture people running around crazy, bugging the hell out, man, trying to figure out what to do. Now, now they want to try to figure out what to do. To, wasted all this time, wasted all this precious time, wasted years BSing around. Years, man. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it comes. That's the type of the, the Lord's numbing us now for this day. That's why we're becoming numb to everything for this day right here. For thou should be in league with the stones of the field, meaning the earth is going to be at one with you. 
and the beasts of the field, these creatures, these animals shall be at peace with thee, but it's going to devour everybody else. It's how important it is to seek the Lord and the Lord is controlling all this. Right? The Lord is controlling all this. Man, you, you ain't got to worry about the animals. You ain't got to worry about the lions, tigers, bears. Oh, my. You ain't got to worry about none of that. Lord willing, we're part of that number. And I want, I want to get this. I want, to, I want to get Psalms 83 right quick, and then I want to get another one in Psalms. Let's just get this right quick, because I mentioned the storms, right? Psalms 83. I mentioned Storm Debbie, right? Let's get this. Psalms chapter 83, verse 15. And it reads, so persecute them. With thy tempest, which is a mighty storm. And again, the weatherman might report that a storm is coming. And he might tell you that it's a category two or three, but they end up being a category seven. So persecute them with thy tempest. That, that's what's happening now. Hurricane Debbie. I'm looking at the news now. And it's going through houses ripped to damn shreds. It's round. No, no roof. No house. Only thing left is a damn table, Israel, or a chair. This is on the floor. You see? Lord, Lord turned the house inside out, man. So persecute them with thy stuff. Everything known to mankind will fear Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Look at this house, man. Look at the news, and it's still raining. I'm looking at live coverage right now, and it's still raining somewhere. Hurricane Debbie just told just tearing up their whole neck, just tearing up whole neighborhoods. Then what damn then water line still just, just flooding the house. Then water line then burst inside the house. I think it, it ripped the toilet, you know what I'm saying, from the wall. And the only thing you got just water just leaking. Just leaking, man. So persecute them with thy tempest and make them afraid with thy storm. And make them afraid. People, look at this shit, man. Nothing, nothing but rubble. Look, look at this damn nice house just through. Then uh, Hurricane David and ripped up the foundation of the house. But you, but you people can have it. You, you ain't got to. You hear Israelites, man. You, you don't know how much trouble you in. You don't even know how much trouble you in. Let's get this Psalm chapter ninety one. Cause I'm about to head out, Lord willing. Psalm chapter ninety one. Let's. See, I just want to hit a quick. Just hit a quick one, right quick. Psalms ninety one. Psalms ninety one. And let's see. Three, um, two. Matter of fact, one. He that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. What's the secret place of the Most High? This word. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge. The a refuge is the place of hiding, right? And my fortress. Same thing, right? My power in Him will I trust. So, with, so with all every all hell breaking loose, with everything that's breaking loose, guess who we still trusting in? Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, who they who they call God and Jesus. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My power in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, and from the noise and from the noisome pestilence, which is the missiles, right? He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. You see? And buckler. This truth, man. It says, Thou shalt thou shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday, right? A thousand shall fall at thy side. This, this, this is coming, man. The Lord will put some fear in you people. It ain't enough fear. These ninjas still walk around like ain't nothing going on. You see, the Lord will put some fear, some fear on you, right? What it say? A thousand shall fall at thy side and 10,000 at thy right hand. This, this body is just dropping, but it shall not come nigh thee. The elect, Lord, one we part of that number, right? Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. You're going to actually see it, man. 
Because thou has made the Lord Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come near nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Remember the angels of the Lord, that's Psalms 34 and 7, the angels of the Lord encamp round about those that fear him and delivered them out of all their troubles. And I want to get second edges of the ninth chapter right quick. Because I'm about to head out. I got to get ready to head out, man. Get this daily bread. We want, we one day closer to Israel. Just hold on. All of us, we just got to hold on. Wait on the Lord. He will bless all those that wait on him. As the scripture have said, right? Second Edges chapter 9. Just want to jump here. Second Edges chapter 9, verse 9. Then shall they, the Hebrew Israelites, right? Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans, Israelites, um, speckled birds. Israelites has been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth that may look like these deep and heathen nations, right? Then shall thou be in a pitiful case, which have now abused my ways. And they have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. This, this is the grace period. And our people took it for granted. The Lord says you're going to be in a pitiful case soon come. You have abused the ways of the Lord. You're going to be in a pitiful case. Men and women. For such in their life have received benefits. Bags. Payoffs. 501c3 charters right. And have not known me. The biggest hypocrites of them all. They honor the Lord with their lips, but their mind, aka their heart, no saying that love is far from them, right? It is, and they have loaded my law. They hated the laws of the word, words of the Bible, right? They they hated to be corrected. You see, they didn't want to take correction, right? They didn't take heed to the rebuking, right? While they yet had liberty. This is the grace period, right? Lord gave them enough time to get their acts together, right? And when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, the doors of mercy were still open. They despised it, just like in the time of Noah. Me and the brother was talking about that yesterday. How Noah was just, you know what I'm saying, preaching his heart out. And Jake was just scoffing and mocking back then. You see, how people were mocking and scoffing back then. Making fun of the man. He was just laboring for the Lord while everybody was sitting around looking stupid. Like that, just like they doing now. Won't nobody trying to get involved. Won't nobody like, yo, can I get a hammer or whatever instruments they was using back then? Can I grab some wood? You know what I'm saying? You know, nobody didn't say nothing. While the building is going on, the spiritual arc is being built right now. You don't see nobody trying to help build. But as soon as it get built, and it's time to enter into it, that's when everybody want to come in. You know it don't work like that. You didn't help build the house. You can't live in the house. You can't come in the house. Stay out. Stay out and deal with the elements. Stay out and deal with the elements, man. You see? And they have loaded my law while they yet had liberty. And when as yet place of repentance, when it was time to turn back sorrowful, remorseful, regretful, in a repentive, contrite spirit, uh, begging for forgiveness for all our wrongful thoughts, sayings, and doings in this life and our former life, right? Understood not, but despised it. They hated it. The same must know it after death by pain. And therefore, be not, look, look, they're going to know it by death by pain, man. Oh, man. And therefore, be not, be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when, because just know that it's going to happen. These knuckleheads, no saying, these thotties, no saying, these Asian, these damn three oh damn fours. The Lord said, don't even worry about, no saying, how they going to get destroyed and when they going to get destroyed. Just know that they're going to be destroyed. You see, the scriptures go, I'm, I'm going to have to get that in closing. But inquire how the righteous, the elect, it's all about the elect, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved. Whose the world is and for whom the world is created. Then answered I and said, I have said before and now do speak and will speak it also hereafter. That there be many more of them which shall perish, shut up being deleted, than of them which shall be saved. Like as a wave is greater than a drop. That's how many people are going to be deleted, man. 
That's how many Israelites are going to be deleted, man. Like a wave is greater than a drop. And ain't this what I want right here? Is it 16 and 10? Second Ezra, or it might be Sarah. Listen, I think it's Sarah. Bear, bear with me. I think it's Sarah. I must be allowed to get this. Sarah chapter 16, is it? No, it might be, it might be second Ezra. Let's see. Let me think right quick. What is it? Because I don't think it's Sarah 16. I don't think it's um, second Ezra 16. It might be Sarah. Let's see. One, one, one of my favorites. I, I hope this is it. Sirach 16. Yeah. Sirach chapter 16, verse 11. The water, Yahweh, Baha, Shem, Yahweh, Shai. If Verse 11. If there be one stiff neck among the people, among the Israelites, the stiff neck, hard headed, you can't tell him nothing. You sure enough can't tell her nothing. They're not going to listen, right? This stiff neck, got that stupid look on their face when you tell them something, right? According to the Bible, right? And if there be one stiff neck among the people, it is marvel if he or she escape unpunished. For mercy and wrath are with him. And we just read about a thousand dying, being deleted on this side, and 10,000 being deleted on that side. People being um, deleted by way of starvation, all that, all these different judgments. You see? The little marvel if he or she escape unpunished for mercy and wrath are with him. He is mighty to forgive and to pour out displeasure. See, the Lord has the power to forgive and he has the power to straight up destroy you. Should have delete you, man. Make you a paraplegic, man. As his mercy is great, so is his correction also. He judges a man and a woman according to his works did you hear that israel the lord's going to judge you according to your works what what have you what have you been producing what type of works have you been producing and these words don't go out void just know that these words do not go out void you yeah, just something quick man you got you got uh, exhortation you see upliftment comfort but at the same time, you got judgment going forth too if you don't take heed to this word. Shalom.